Oh man, we got a lot of books to haul today. This was a really good last month or so, so just jumping right into it. All right, first book, I had to snag it as soon as I saw it. Look at this, Don Shard. Look at how beautiful. It's this little tiny, tiny little hardback book that just, I'm sure, packs a punch. I don't know yet. We'll see. Uh, but I had to get it because I am doing my Stormlight Archive read-along. And this, uh, as I understand it, as I've, as I've looked it up, this goes right after Oathbringer, which is book three. So I'm excited to read that one. Um, mo probably mostly right now because it's just this cute little thing that... Is just it look feels so good in the hand. It feels perfect, ideal for reading. This is gonna be great. I have this weird obsession with getting Fritz Lieber Liber books, and I saw this was a Hugo winner. I then looked it up, and it was like, oh, it's like <laughs> it's got some issues. So I don't know. Anyway, Hugo winner of the past. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, the Hugo winner sold me alone on it. Not to mention it's it's. Baffred and the Grey Mauser. Am I pronouncing that even remotely right? Probably not. Um, what book haul would be complete without some Matthew Woodring Stover? And I actually have a lot this time. This is just the beginning. Jumping only right into the actual books, but <laughs> Traitor. I actually already own this one, but it's this garbage copy, and so I had to get this one's just, look how pretty that is. Nice copy, Matthew Woodring Stover. Gonna, eh, like I said, just the beginning. All right, these babies. I found a nice little collection um, of some science fiction and fantasies at my local bookstore. Just the magazine of science or fantasy and science fiction. Sorry, that's a big big mistake. Sorry there. Um, but anyway, got some good ones here. Got some stuff by Algis Boudris, um, and yeah, like that one. There we go. And so anyway, I just, I tend to, I can't stop myself from, from picking these up, you know, Ursula Le Guin, there's always Asimov, they loved Asimov back in the day, uh, you know, but these are back from 1976 to 77, so, you know, piece of, pieces of classics. All right, Circe's Booked recommended My Hero Academia, so here we are, we got it, we started, see, um. Oh, just barely this morning, so I will probably finish it right after this. Looking forward to it. So far, a cool concept. Somehow, everybody, like, or 80%, I think is what it was, of people get superpowers, so psh, all into that. That sounds awesome, and so you know somebody doesn't have superpowers, I'm sure, um, and their main character and whatnot, so... Uh, that's just how they always go. You have to do that, I think. It's like one of the rules. <laughs> Here's something cool. You can't have it. Uh, but anyway, uh, all right. I got an advanced reading copy of Gerzel, and I also got this on Kindle. Um, I'm going to do a Kindle part after this and then an audiobook. I went a little crazy. Uh, but Gerzel, look how cool that is. I really like that. Look at that. Is that Stonehenge? Really interesting. I will be reading this uh, after I get kind of through my February she wrote TBR, which is not quite done. Uh, but anyway, Gerzel, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not actually sure, but I like, look at that cover. That's so cool. I think um, just really well done self-published book there. All right. This was completing my stack. I had to complete my, I had the rest of the, what was it, five books? This is number five, yes, there it is, numbers. So I had the rest of these, have them up here. Um, I love Brent Weeks. I really enjoyed his Night Angel trilogy. It's just really fun popcorn fantasy reading, and so I assume this will be no nothing less. I've heard all the commentary about all of the other, or the later books. <laughs> And anyway, we'll take it with a grain of salt. I also struggled with the last book of the Night Angel trilogy, but I still enjoyed it overall. Okay, this was one. Um, funny enough, okay. So I got a copy of The Engineer, Darren Hanshaw. So this is an interesting story. I just kind of got back on Twitter. Uh, Darren was actually asking, he was, he was well, I don't know, he wasn't even asking. He, we were just, he was just a chatting about cool older books 
and uh, he was kind of looking for one and just said he, he just stru he struck out numerous times trying to get this book and I want to say it was Hel Heliconia Spring, something like that. Um, so I was like, hey, this is random. I don't have a ton of duplicate books. Just, you know, I am, <laughs> there's a meme I just put up on Twitter about getting to a point of not quite knowing if you have the book or not when you go in, when you go into a book sale or something. I am definitely there. So it happens from time to time. And this was one of those where uh, I had a hard hardback version of Holoconia Spring. I think it's Aldous. Is that who wrote it? Anyway. And I was just like, hey, I've, I've got the mass market paperback. If you're struggling finding it, I can just send it to you. If you're good with that, I don't care, you know, you know, forward it on. Um, and he was just like, hey, how about I'll send you back a copy of The Engineer? So it was really a good deal for me. Um, and anyway, always happy to do that if I have something to help someone complete a collection or whatever. Um, but anyway, this looks really cool. Look how just really cool cover. It looks really interesting. And the reviews are pretty dang good. This is this is one that um, I'm gonna do. I have I've actually already filmed it an unboxing um, because this is the prettiest unboxing you'll see that I've ever seen. I've ever uh, had the pleasure of of opening, and so I had to just unbox it because it was so cool looking. Um, but anyway, this is another self-published book, Thomas Howard Riley. Uh, anyway, look how cool that is alone didn't even need fancy packaging but then on top of it had fancy packaging so what's the guy to do it's a it's a good thick chonker what i like so it also came with some cool little map cards and whatnot i like this is one of those that the cover art is also directly on the book um so anyway you get it both ways, which is awesome. All right, finally, to kind of wrap up my list of actual physical purchases. Gosh, this is a long list. I, I counted it up. We're at 55 books. I went a little crazy. But this was one I had to get because I am doing a read-along for this very series right now, and I can't really read along if I don't have all the books. So here we are. We got us some Rhythm of War. All right, yeah, you've seen it before because you already have it, most likely, I know. <laughs> this is kind of a dinged up version. It was the only one in the in the Barnes & Noble, actually. Um, this, the, the slipcase cover keeps falling off like way too easily. Eventually, I'm gonna get one of those like Kraken covers or something like that that look really cool. Here's another cool shard blade. Uh, I like, I always love looking at the, at the insides of these beautiful books. So that, let's see, yeah. That completes the actual physical book section. Now on to the very, it's, it's relatively brief Kindle section and then audio was, there was, I mean, you probably know, there was an Audible sale. I can't help myself, what do we, there's actually a couple in between here. All right, so uh, for Kindle books, I, you already heard me say, I've got Gerzel by iAnonymous. Uh, and then I also, I uh, picked up Infinity Charge, it was on a deal, but also I am friends with the author Tyler Jolly, and I know Jolene Perry, they're just actually some local authors that I just like supporting local authors. Then I got, I received as advanced reading copies, Limbo and Burning Promise by Thiago Devesque, did I, did I pronounce that right, Thiago? <laughs> Sorry about that, and did I even, anyway. Uh, Thiago's been a fan of the channel, sent me his uh, books. I, I promised I'd feature them. I don't know if I'll be able to get to them, but I, I always am trying to support where I can. I have to be realistic with how slow I read and how really uh, other than, you know, on anything other than audio. So audio, I'm gonna get to a bunch of things and eyeballs wise, just not, don't, the time's not there as much. So, but those look really cool. Look how cool these, Covers look, if I haven't already shown them, which I know I have. Um, I also picked up Flames Over Frost Town by Dave Dobson. So a number of just good looking self-published books. I'm just loving how, you know, you, as much as you say don't judge a book by its cover, you do. And I, I'm happy to say these are so cool looking. Um, then a Megan Nagel was 
from Megan's Reading Revelations was doing a deal, and so I picked up Azurite by Megan. I'm really excited to read that because fellow booktuber. So anyway, just a couple little, uh, just a little tiny haul of Kindle books. Then we get to the audiobook. Oh my gosh, I went a little overboard, and by little I meant way too overboard, but I couldn't help myself. There was... It was like up to 85% off deal, and I'm a sucker. Uh, and that was the second deal. That was just the latest deal that I, <laughs> I just picked up. Before that, there was like a two-for-one deal that I was also, and I, I forget which one's which. But anyway, so I picked up all by Will White, all the books that I have not yet had in my possession, Underlord, Uncrowned, Winter Steel. And Reaper, all by Will White, Cradle Series. I'm on book six now, um, which is Underlord. Can't wait to get into it. Had to get it because that's my next book, and then I had to get three more. And I already have uh, what is it, Bloodline or something like that that I'll put out. I already had that one in my collection. So uh, then also had to round out the collection because I just read Ship of Magic. It was amazing, and so I had to pick up Mad Ship. And then Ship of Destiny, complete the Life Ship Traders uh, on audio. I, yes, that's true. I do already have it um, in physical book, but I figured I'd get them in audio. Sometimes that just helps me kind of push things along here. I saw that uh, Rob J. Hayes, his Heroic Age trilogy is all bundled up in one audio book for like, it's like 40 hours of of audiobook for you know three different novels for one credit that's a steal for me so I picked that up of course <laughs> all right and then um, I was provided a review in advance or well just a review copy not an advanced reading copy but a review copy of Chaos Reigns by Jared Smith I'm looking forward to that uh, you know Jared Smith just is one of those that does authoring and self-publishing well uh, as far as wanting, making me want to read, uh, I, I really just, I feel like we're friends on, on Twitter, at least in a Twitter sense, and so I'm, I'm excited to read uh, that book. All right, um, Priest of Bones I picked up by Peter McLean. That was a boiled jellyfish recommendation, so thank you. I'm excited to read that. Um, then I picked up Foundry Side by Robert Jackson Bennett. Robert Jackson Bennett's one of my favorite authors. Uh, I love his standalones. I was, again, one of those. I need to finish some of his stuff. But I do have an advanced reading copy of Foundry Side, but figured, hey, for a deal, uh, and I think this was on the two-for-one deal, that just, you know, I'm going to snag that up. Then I also snagged up Diamantine by Andrew Rowe. It's in one of his series that is like a prequel or something to the main series I've been reading. So I'm definitely going to read them eventually and might as well pick them up at a deal. That was my thought process. Uh, anything Andrew Rowe writes, I'm down for. This is happening. Kind of completing some series. Uh, Larry Correa, I've got, uh, I got House of Assassins, Warbound, and then Monster Hunter International. Um, two of those are completing series. One, uh, MHI, I've had on my shelf for ages and figure. Maybe the only way I'm going to read is on, is on, audio, uh, is on audio. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see if I can do that. Um, now that my audio to read list is, is just, it's insane. It's ballooning. There's, I think, almost 400 now just on Audible. And I've had, I have now numerous, I didn't realize how many uh, different types of apps there are to listen to your uh, audiobooks. And I'm actually thinking of doing a review on all of them because they all have their little quirks. And so I figure, hey, you know, Audible, I think, is still probably the best, but the rest, you know, have their different things about them that I think are worth pursuing, but also some different quirks that I really did not do not like. Google Play one right now is driving me nuts, so not a huge fan there. Um, all right, then Howling Dark, I just picked up. <laughs> no deal whatsoever. Just have, I do the credits where you get the credits at the beginning of the year, so you just have a bunch. Um, makes it cheaper. And so uh, had one Howling Dark sequel to Empire of Silence. I love that. Can't wait for Howling Dark. We'll be reading the rest. Um, then I also picked up 
Elric of Melnabona. It's it, so what's what they're doing, at least for the first six books, is putting uh, three books to one audiobook credit on Audible. And so I've got Elric of Melnabona, uh, Sailor on the Seas of Fate, and The Weird of the White Wolf, all in one one easy credit. That was a good steal for me. And then it's narrated by Samuel Raukin, who narrates who narrated Empire Silence for by Christopher Christopher Rocchio. So I I already know I love the narrator. So it was kind of like this is no brainer, no brainer right here. Um, as promised, I. <laughs> I got some more Matthew Woodring Stover. I can't help myself, my gosh. Uh, Blade of Tichelle, because once you've bought the book on Kindle, then you get a deal on the audio. And so I just thought I'd pick that up too. I'm going to reread that someday anyway. And just good books to have on your list. And then this 85% off sale came up. And Cane Black Knife and Cane's Law were both like four bucks or something. I think they were like three something. And so I definitely got them. <laughs> now I have more. <laughs> I don't even know how many different ways that I have Matthew Woodring Stover books, but I have it. In, I have them all. It's they're Pokemon for me. Okay. <laughs> then I got these are two that have just been on my list for way too long. Um, on Stranger Tides by Tim Powers. Apparently, it's what they made one of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies off of um, the one I think called On Stranger Times. <laughs> Tides. I'm really good at this. Um, and then uh, The Anubis Gates uh, by Tim Powers. So I, anyway, that's just been on my list for ages. I hear it's great and I need to read it. Um, then I got the Powder Mage Novella Collection, number one by Brian McClellan. Uh, one of which I was a beta reader for, uh, probably not a very helpful one because I was like, this is awesome, this is also awesome, this is awesome, and then this is awesome, yes. <laughs> so, I don't know, I think maybe that helps authors, I don't know. <laughs> um, but anyway, looking forward to that, love the Powder Mage series. Uh, the Steel Remains by Richard K. Morgan, that's just, again, been on my list for ages, it was a good deal, grabbed it. Um, I, did, I did read Altered Carbon, uh whew, when did i pretty recently i didn't absolutely love it and so as much as i thought i would i think was the problem I, it was enjoyable it was good it was well plotted uh i don't know i think his kind of like disdain for other authors is like always left a bad taste in my mouth so <laughs> anyway and then i got the dosati experiment by frank herbert uh that again on my list for ages it's a really cool concept like this like prison planet kind of thing and anyway I, frank herbert you know his non-dune stuff i've heard it's hit or miss so we'll see this might be a hit or a miss so well i don't know well we we will find out it's 10 hours worth so it's a pretty short in terms of audio time um as i said i got some more tyler jolly uh this is adventurous ali uh, or ali i might have <laughs> adventurous ali I think is what it is, and uh, by Tyler Jolly and Mary Geis, um, and then I actually also know the uh, narrator, so I don't I don't actually know Mary, but I know the rest of them that are involved in that, and so uh, supporting local authors. That's pretty much it. Um, then I got Black Sun Rising by C.S. Friedman. You want to talk about books that have been on my list for way too long? That is definitely Black Sun Rising ages i mean maybe one of the first books that i actually got in a used bookstore and then just been sitting there uh because i have the attention span of a one-year-old cocker spaniel no, i don't know what that means um all right then i mean then you go throw mouths on books for cheap and it's like i don't need them i already have them i've read them with my eyeballs but not all of them but anyway, so uh, some Ian Cameron Esselmont books. I got Night of Knives and Return of the Crimson Guard. I didn't get the rest because I was like, yeah, I don't know. There, there'll eventually be a sale again. I mean, I think Night of Knives is the hardest to like use an Audible credit on because it is so short. And so anyway, got it for really cheap, and then then it's not. Then that problem's out the window, right? Um, and then Crimson, Return of the Crimson Guard was like the cheapest. It was like three dollars when the rest were like maybe around four fifty ish. Um, and then 
uh, because I can't stop myself. I got some Steven Erickson. I, I got uh, Forge of Darkness uh, on audio. So now I literally have that one on audio, paperback, and, and on Kindle. And so all I really need is a hardback version. <laughs> And I will have all the versions. Oh my gosh. Um, and then finally, finally, I got Gardens of the Moon on audio because I have literally the whole, the rest of the series, the, the main series, the 10 books, and I just wanted to round it out. I had already read, reread that one. Um, and so I just, when I was rereading, I was rereading by audio. And so I did so, I just started with Dead House Gates and then kept going from there. So might as well complete the collection. I mean, any excuse will do, right? So anyway, I hope that wasn't too boring or crazy. I had fun. Man, I left this way too long uh, to do a book haul, uh, and I probably am missing some even. Uh, I'll have to go back and look. But I, I had lots of fun. I love looking at other people, what other people are hauling. Anyway, let me know. What are you getting? What's what's the newest in your collection that you're just like psyched about? I love to hear about it. I love talking about it. So let me know. Hey, this is Shelf Centered. Tried to do things a little differently today, not do the intro stuff, and we'll see. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. And obviously only if you're liking the stuff because that's really all, you know, I'm not going to force this on you. I mean, I, I could try, but I don't know how it would help, but <laughs> I wouldn't do it anyway. Uh, anyway, thank you so much, and we'll see you later. Bye.